good morning everybody this is your weekly angel reading and your energy update for this week of march from the 9th of march which is today until the 15th so this week starts very difficult you might have felt it over the weekend already we've got difficult choices to make and also we need to support others in making their choices Although the choices might influence us and it might seem that it's not going to be good for us. So it's really difficult to discern as to what we need to do. Hello, okay. The wolves are here with me. So we, we really need to look at what we need to do for ourselves. The difficult thing this week is to really just stay in your own lane. Stay on your own side of the road. Don't look at what others are doing. Don't get mixed up in their drama or their decisions. Just stay and focus on yourself. It's a good week to still look at how you see yourself in the world, what you see as your self-esteem, how you need to put up the boundaries or just stand up for who you are. And it might be difficult because it, it might have to do with a situation at work where you are scared that it can influence your stability or your security at work or in a relationship. So look at what needs to happen for self-love. Joy will always be the key. Ask yourself whether it will give you joy or not. So, like I say, difficult decisions to make, but trust your heart, trust what you know inside of yourself is your truth. It is a bit weak to re-evaluate what is your own truth and not that of others or what you think others expect of you. The card that I drew this week is from my Ask the Angels card deck. And the card that comes through is Angel Hafna Space. This beautiful angel was painted by Yvette Bieneke, a very talented artist in South Africa. So Hafna, Angel Hafna comes to us to say, give yourself the space needed, relax. We are so overwhelmed still, trying to fix everything for our kids, our parents, our loved ones, our friends. And all of this is just making us less and less in touch with who we are and what we need to do for ourselves. So March will be a month of self-love, of doing what you need to do for yourself. So stick to your boundaries and we cannot decide for our children, for your partner, for your business partner. We, partner. we can give advice and we can support, but we all know by now that if you do too much or support too much, it keeps them from having their own learning experience and finding that power and that truth within themselves. Another thing this week is about compassion having lots of compassion for yourself for others forgiveness and stay neutral again stay on your own path don't look at others and what they are doing you will see that this week also brings emotions it seems a whole of march is a very emotional month um, we have to really face our own addiction to to struggles and to suffering and there's nothing better to point that right in our face than the coronavirus situation. So this is where you need to decide what you believe, how much you trust. Will you jump on the fear bandwagon and help spreading the fear, as people often do, especially on social media? Or will you be the opposite? Will you be the power of light that stays in your own truth and trust that all is as it should be? And that death is just another part of our experience. But look at the truth of the virus and how you tune into either what people are spreading and believe the worst, or do you know the real truth of that it's actually not that bad at this stage? So just be careful as to what you put into your system, what energy, belief systems you, you create within you and spread out into the world. It's not a good time to spread doubt because the more you start being an anchor for doubt, the more doubt and fear you will have in your own life. So Angel Hafna really wants to ask you to just take that space. Give others the space they need to do what they need to do. Give yourself the space to just focus on what makes your heart happy. 
if you need to take time out to just relax paint read a book do something creative spend time with your animals just do that make time for it the angels always say don't make time take time so even my words are wrong still we need to take time because time is available like any abundance like peace like love like contentment and this is a week to focus on contentment although everything seems to be up in chaos and our plans aren't going as we thought it should allow yourself the space of peace that's always the foundation of any any situation and anything in your life another thing that i want to bring to you this week is just find your foundation review how you see the creation creative energy the god energy however you perceive or what you believe in you need to redefine it for yourself in a way that makes sense to you to your inner being to your deeper self not the way that people tell you to experience it i always say that god is like a glass of water try and explain to somebody what water tastes like try to explain to somebody what water tastes like to you and try and convince them that that is what water tastes like you can't you only know that water replenishes it feeds you it feeds the soul it it gives you that pardon from thirst so you need to experience God in that way the God energy what does it mean to you what does it bring to you or is it confusion to you do you put it on hold or some way out there and then you don't have any foundation of belief or trust in life and in what is out there what why things are happening the more we all fear, fall into this fear of the coronavirus or whatever is happening into the world all the destruction all the hate and we stop being the opposite of that that's when we lose our love our compassion our neutrality be good to yourself this week i'll be sending you lots of love take care till next week bye